हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट वन इज द इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर व्हाट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर इट इज अ डिवाइस यूज टू कन्वर्ट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इनटू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी नाउ गोइंग टू अंडरस्टूड दैट इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर इज द डिवाइस यूज टू कन्वर्ट द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इनटू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एंड देयर इज अनदर डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इनटू अ द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सच डिवाइस इज कॉल्ड एज द इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर अब इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर आपने देखा है या नहीं देखा ये मैं नहीं पूछूंगा ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑन व्हाट प्रिंसिपल इट वर्क्स ऑब्वियसली इट वर्क्स ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन व्हिच प्रिंसिपल इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रो व्हाट इट इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज द इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर व्हाट इज द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन चेंज इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूसेस द exactly induced current and that phenomena is called as the electromagnetic induction this electromagnetic induction phenomena was explained by the faradays the activities that we have seen actually these are the activities done by the faradays that is what i used to tell isn't it so now electric generator the principle we understood what is the construction it's very much similar to that but just one and two things are changed the construction of this electric motor is the armature is the strong magnet that is the permanent magnet is used slip rings are used here in that case split rings but now in case of electric generator we are using the slip rings brushes that is the carbon brushes are commonly obviously they are also this is what like that again hmm? they are always in contact like that they are just going to be slip from that slip rings isn't it then next one is the galvanometer now here we are not going to use the battery why because this electric generator works on the phenomenon of electric induction now when we are talking about this electric induction so hope you are getting one concept that is called as the flamings right hand rule flamings like right hand rule getting what i am saying so which rule we are going to use here flamings right hand rule what is the flamings right hand rule force magnetic field induced current so here we know the force we know the magnetic field we want it to calculate the induced current aya na yes let us come to the construction of this how it is constructed as you know very well this is the rectangular coil is placed between the permanent magnet and this rectangular coil is connected to the slip ring r1 that is this side of the armature coil one that is what let us suppose there are two ends one end of the armature coil is connected to the r1 and another end of the armature coil is connected to the R2. R2 is what the R1 and R2 are the slip rings. B1 and B2 are the carbon brushes, and these carbon brushes are going to be slip over the slip rings. Clear? And this is what the axle. And as the axle of as the armature co armature coil rotates, the slip ring starts rotating, and the galvanometer is connected so that it can detect the current produced by the motion of the armature coil. Clear? And if you are using the more, or what you can say, if you are if you are arranging the maximum number of the armature or rectangular coil, it will produce it. The maximum more and more current it will be produced. This is what it is to be called as the magnet. So it is very simple. So nothing to worry. This is called as the magnet. This is what called as the rectangular coil or armature coil. Rectangular coil. How the magnetic field is moving? North to south, north to south, north to south. Clear? So what is the B one and B two? B one and B two are what? Huh? Brushes. Clear? Very yeah, good. R one and R two is what? Obviously, they are slip rings, not split rings, huh? Slip rings. G is what? Galvanometer. What is the purpose of the galvanometer? It is used to measure the electric current produced by the motion of the armature coil. <laughs> Clear? Now, just to understand this, it is very simple. Clear? Let us suppose this is A, B, C, and D. Using this rule, we need to be finding out the direction of induced current. So, R uh, F B R. <laughs> F B is what? Ah, uh, F is the force. We know the force. We know the magnetic field. We need to be calculate the induced current. What do you want to calculate induced current? This is how it is very simple. 
Clear? How the induced current is produced due to because of the change in magnetic field. Where is the magnetic field is goes on changes. As this coil rotates, the magnetic flux through the coil is goes on changes. Clear? ये है magnet आपका क्या है rectangular coil है. जैसे ही ये rectangular coil आपकी rotate होगी, इसके तो जो magnetic field है वो क्या होगी? Change होगी. तो ये जो magnetic field change हो रही है, क्योंकि इस magnet के corresponding में कौन motion है? Magnet है या coil है? Coil है. तो हमारा कांसेप्ट क्या था इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन का या तो आप एक काम करो या तो कॉइल को मूव करो या तो मैग्नेट को मूव करो अब यहां पर मैग्नेट को तो मूव नहीं कर सकते ना है ना तो मैग्नेट को मूव नहीं कर सकते लेकिन इस एक्सल को तो हम रोटेट कर सकते या तो आर्मेचर कॉइल को रोटेट कर सकते जैसे ही आर्मेचर कॉइल रोटेट करेगा इसके थ्रू जो जाने वाली मैग्नेटिक फील्ड है वो क्या होगी चेंज हो जाएगी अब कैसे चेंज होगी देखिए दिस इज व्हाट द थिंग जैसे ही ऊपर आएगा अगेन दिस इज व्हाट द सरफेस जैसे ही आएगा दिस इज व्हाट द सरफेस जैसे ही नीचे आएगा दिस इज व्हाट द सरफेस व्हिच मींस दैट कंटीन्यूअसली द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज गोस ऑन चेंजेस एंड व्हिच लीड्स टू प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट कॉल्ड इट द इंडस्ट करंट इन द सर्किट क्लियर तो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्किंग वर्किंग इज वेरी सिंपल सर नाउ वी नीड टू बी अज्यूम दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेदर हाउ द कॉइल इज गोइंग टू बी रोटेटेड आदर इट इज टू बी रोटेटेड क्लॉकवाइज और एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डिपेंड्स अपॉन लेट अस अज्यूम दैट कॉइल रोटेट्स एंटी क्लॉकवाइज और क्लॉकवाइज कॉइल रोटेट्स क्लॉकवाइज ऐसा ऐसा क्लॉकवाइज क्लॉकवाइज मींस व्हाट न्यू 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 दिस इज व्हाट क्लॉकवाइज मींस व्हाट न्यू 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 दिस इज व्हाट ओके सो कॉइल इज रोटेटिंग क्लॉकवाइज नाउ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज नो दैट दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कॉइल इज रोटेटिंग लाइक दैट क्लियर यूज द राइट हैंड रूल नाउ दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड क्लियर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ अब क्लॉकवाइज रोटेट करेगा पहले अगर ये आपका ये है दिस इज व्हाट द ए बी सी एंड डी क्लियर अगर ये क्लॉकवाइज रोटेट करेगा तो ऐसे जाएगा इसका मतलब दिस ए बी द फोर्स विल एक्ट इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड ऑन द सी डी द फोर्स विल एक्ट इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन क्लियर तो यहां पर लिखो मैं ए बी के ऊपर क्या होगा इनिशियली फोर्स इज अपवर्ड एफ इज नॉट अपवर्ड एंड ऑन सी डी इट इज एफ इज वॉट In the downward, clear. This is what when it happens, then it rotates the like that. So then on a coil, AB is in the upward direction and CD is in the downward direction. Now like that, clear. So let us find it out the direction of the current in the armature coil. What happens now? This is what the direction of the force on coil on the arm of armature coil AB, where in the upward direction. Clear direction of the magnetic field, not to south. Clear the direction of induced current. Direction of induced current, which means what? The direction is what? A to B. Clear, brother. This is how the direction of induced current will be there. Clear. This is what the direction of the induced current in a half rotation. In a half rotation, in this case, the direction of induced current is direction of induced current. How it will travel in the armature coil? इंडस्ट कर कैसे ए बी सी डी क्लियर ए बी सी डी एंड इमीडिएटली ए बी सी डी वेन द करंट फ्लोस द गैलवेनोमेट्रिक टेक द करंट एंड वी शो दैट यस द करंट इज प्रेजेंट और द करंट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस क्लियर नो आफ्टर अगेन व्हाट हैपेंस आफ्टर हाफ रोटेशन दिस इज व्हाट द वन हाफ रोटेशन इज कंप्लीटेड ड्यूरिंग दिस पोजीशन क्लियर बिकॉज़ ए बी इज टू दैट साइड नाउ सी डी इज टू दैट साइड अब सी डी क्या करेगी ये तो यहां पर सी डी आ गई ये तो डीसी को ये डी ए सी और ये ए ये भी हो गए क्लियर डीसी और ए भी हो गए अब यहां पर क्या होगा नाउ दिस डीसी विल द फोर्स एक्ट्स ऑन द डीसी इन द अपर डायरेक्शन एंड अगेन ऑन ए बी इज इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन क्लियर तो क्या होगा नेक्स्ट आफ्टर हाफ रोटेशन आफ्टर हाफ रोटेशन क्लियर अब क्या हो रहा है देखो ये जो आपका DC है क्लियर दिस DC फोर्स इज इन द अपवर्ड पहले कहा था डाउनवर्ड क्लियर एंड AB फोर्स इज ऑन व्हाट डाउनवर्ड फोर्स इज ऑन व्हाट डाउनवर्ड नाउ यूज इट DC AB अगर आप यहां पर अगर डायग्राम ड्रॉ करें भी ये दिस इज व्हाट द सेकंड पोजीशन आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू DC ये एंड डी क्लियर अब कैसा है ये DC कहां जा रहा है ऊपर जा रहा है मैग्नेटिक फील्ड का डायरेक्शन तो वही है DC is in the upward direction and AB is in the what downward direction. This is what clear. This is the DC. This is what AB. 
DC AB. Now DC is on the upward and AB is in the downward. So that it will take one complete rotation. But during that rotation, what is the direction of the induced current? Now the direction of the induced current has to be followed. Up. This is what the direction is what come on. Huh? Direction of our magnetic field we know already. Direction of force on what DC now. Direction of force on DC upward. Direction of current. Exactly. Direction of current is reverse or not? Yes. How it is flowing now? It is flowing what? DCBA. In the first half rotation, ABCD. And now in the next second half rotation, it is in the DCBA. Clear? Direction of which current? Induced current. Induced current is what now? Huh? DC. B and A. Earlier A, B, C, D. This is the direction it changes or not? Hence the direction of the electric current or induced current it changes and hence such generator is called the AC generator. Which generator here? AC generator. This generator is called as AC generator. What is the AC? AC is called as the alternating current. What is the AC? AC is called as alternating current. Please remember this is very important. What is the alternating current? The current which changes its directions periodically. That type of current is called as the alternating current. Getting what I am saying? Now, if suppose we want the DC generator, then at the time of DC generator, dear students, remember that for case of DC generator, instead of slip rings, we need to take the use of what? Split rings. We need to take the use of split rings, isn't it? So when the split ring is taken, so then what happens? You know that this one carbon brush is always contact with the one split ring and another is with the another split ring, and hence the whatever the generator is there, that generator is called the DC generator. In case of the DC generator, the direction of the electric current is not going to be changes. That concept is called the DC generator. But overall, the things which I told you right now, that generator is called as what AC generator. Clear? What is the AC? Alternating current. What is the DC? Direct current. Will you please tell me now what is the difference between the AC and DC? AC is alternating. This is what? DC is what? This is. Clear? So what is the symbol of AC and DC? Symbol of AC and DC. AC is AC, AC. This is what the symbol of AC. And what is the symbol of DC? This is the symbol of DC. Clear? So this what it indicates? Which indicates that the current is goes on changes its direction periodically. But DC won't change the direction. Now where we are using the mobile phones that we are going to be used, the power, that power is what the DC. And the light which reaches at our home schools and offices, they are what the alternating currents. Nowadays, most of the what we can see the power stations, they are sending the light or the energy, electrical energy in the form of AC. Why? What is the advantage of the AC or DC is that? The advantage is that better when we use to transmit the light electrical energy using AC then the loss of power will be what very less as compared to the DC DC में जो loss of power होता है बहुत ज़्यादा होता है loss of energy बहुत ज़्यादी होती है और AC में जो loss of energy होता है वो कम होता है इसलिए जो भी transmission होता है electrical energy का they are in the form of what alternating current that is what exactly it is to be considered clear and remember that in our country that is in India this AC, whatever the electricity is or whatever the electric energy we are using, the frequency of that it is what? Frequency is what? Up to 50 hertz. The frequency is what? 50 hertz. Clear? So this is what? Because uh, obviously this value goes on varies as uh, the countries as we change, as we, as, we th as we think about the different and different countries. Isn't it? It depends upon the countries what at what frequency they are using the electrical energy. Getting what I am saying? This is what exactly it is to be called as the electrical generator. Electric generator. Remember that electric generator may work two times. One is the AC generator and the second one is what? DC generator. Which means that after every half rotation, the direction of electric current, induced current is goes on, changes. How we can able to calculate the direction of induced current? We are using the Fleming's right hand rule. Fleming's right hand rule. Getting what I am saying? And AC as well as DC, the difference is that in AC generator we are using the slip rings and in DC generator instead of slip rings we need to take the use of what? Split rings. Are you getting what I am saying? This is what overall the concept it is to be called as the electric generator.